Well, shalom, my brothers and sisters. This is your brother Martin. And I am recording this first of three videos, this last Shabbat, which fell on the 17th of July. Abba told me to record three different videos. So this is the first of the three. You can see the titles of those three upcoming videos. They're all about the fourth beast. What's interesting about this and uh, that, that you should know is that there's a context to these three videos. So this is actually the second in a series of four videos. And I recorded that context video a couple weeks ago and I didn't make it public. So if you search my channel, you will not see it. But if you want to see the context, you can find that video, which is unlisted, by clicking in the upper right hand corner of the screen right now. Now I suggest maybe that you watch this video, maybe click open that video and pause it and watch the rest of this video, which will talk about the fourth beast and what it is. And then <laughs> that is this, this video is a confirmation of that unlisted video. So if you want to go watch that, that will give you the story. Uh, for which this is a confirmation. Um, and what I'm doing is showing the Bible codes related to that story I told in the last video, which I'm not making public. Watch it in whatever order you want, uh, but I suggest maybe pausing that one, watching this one, watching the context video, and then coming back and watching this one again, because you'll probably see this video with a whole new set of eyes if you do it that way. Um, and then after this video, I will be talking about uh, the evil ones that make up the fourth beast and why they are about to be judged, and that's for the abominations that they're causing, which offends our, our uh, Almighty Father. So he is going to judgment, and the judgment of the wicked, the evil ones that run the world, which I call the fourth beast. I don't call them. The book of Revelation calls it the fourth beast. Um, in fact, let's go take a look at the book of Revelation right now and what it says about the fourth beast. Okay, so I was slightly mistaken um, because multiple books in the Bible talk about similar events. Um, Revelation 13 does refer to the fourth beast when it um, talks about the beast coming up out of the sea. That is the fourth beast. But it's actually the book of Daniel that describes what makes the fourth beast different than the first three beasts. Uh, so I will read to you from Daniel 7, 19. Then I desired for certainty concerning the fourth beast, which was different from all the others, very fearsome with its teeth of iron and nails of bronze, which devoured, crushed, and trampled down the rest with its feet. The... The main sentence about what the fourth beast is, is in verse 23. This is what he said. The fourth beast is the fourth reign on earth, which is different from all other reigns, and devours all the earth, tramples it down, and crushes it. And it talks about the ten sovereigns that control this fourth reign. And that's the main thing about the fourth beast, is that it is global and you cannot escape it. Which is why our Heavenly Father, you who has to intercede and save us out of it. So, that is the entire reason for Yahushua's mission on earth was eventually to come back and save us out of the possession of this fourth beast. And so my context video lays out in plain language what the fourth beast is. Now, to be confirmed by the code tables that I'm going to show you. So let's get started. Before we get started on the code tables, one thing I wanted to point out, which I think is super interesting, is that while I will lay out the case about the fourth beast, the abominations that committed that brings a judgment on them, and then how the judgment occurs. Abba also gave me a mission to go and document the evidence of the form of judgment. And um, 
after he told me uh, that I was to do this, I started seeing things in my feed. First one was this, this red star in the sky over South Africa. This is the first occurrence I can find of these posted pictures, and so far these are really the only known pictures I know of this red star. I was told to go photograph this. Um, but you cannot photograph this thing with an ordinary camera. And in the code tables I'm about to show you, this red star is referred to as Nibiru. And Nibiru is not what you may have read in books that are full of disinformation, but it is one of the physical forms of Abba's judgment. Um, and it is having effects on our solar system. Now, the other uh, thing to point out before I get into the code tables is, so these three videos, which are really four videos when you include the context video, are all leading up to describing this judgment and how this red star participates in the judgment. Um, so I was told to go do this related to this red star that we call Nibiru. And um, two other code searchers uh, in the last week, within 24 hours of each other, started publishing code tables on this same topic. Now, I know both of these brothers, uh, but I haven't spoken to either of them in months, and I know that they don't <laughs> speak to each other. So the fact that we have uh, all been told to go um, talk about this same topic the same week is pretty amazing um, and obviously significant. So these are the other two videos uh, which talk about uh, the Red Star and what it is and what these coaches searchers believe it is. I'm not going to get into any of that philosophy, but I am going to say that this is the culmination of the four videos that I'm posting here. Um, this one being the second of the fourth, with the context video being the first. So, if you want to take a note of these and search these out later, I'm not going to post links, but you can pretty clearly find them from the channel names and the titles. Um, now, let's get into the fourth beast and the code tables that confirm the story that I told in the last video. So, this is part of the fourth beast. Um, this is a table, all of these tables uh, I was shown at least three years ago. Uh, and, you know, I, I went through, I guess eventually I got to post a testimony that talks about how I actually came to be shown these things because it was a, a massive dump over the, a little more than a year. Um, and, and I didn't know what all these things meant at the time. And so now as time passes, they become more clear. So we are talking about a group of people um, that work for powers and principalities. And these powers and principalities uh, have cooked up a bunch of stories because although all the people involved... Uh, may not hate humans. The principalities that control them definitely hate humans, by the way. And so they tell a story of how humans are destroying the planet and are hosts for virus and, and doing all kinds of... They're basically brainwashing you into hating each other. Um, and so all of those things are lies. So in this video, I am exposing these lies and pointing out who these evil ones really are and showing how they come to judgment by Yahuwah Elohim. Uh, and I've already pointed out the fact that Abba has told all three of, uh, of the, you know, the code searchers that I know to go and find um, the, the tables on these same topics. And um, the tables that Jonathan and Chris did are, are pretty interesting. So the, but the, that's the form of judgment that comes to these people. Now, the reason that the year 2021 is in here is because that's when I found this table. Actually, well, 2020, I found this at the end of 2020, which is um, in that same 
um, time frame. So this is in Nehemiah. What's interesting is that, you know, there's some things coded at very small skips in Nehemiah, like the remnant um, in the USA. And we'll get into why the name Dunham is encoded there uh, when I get to the end of it. 2001 being the um, key year uh, in the latest act of these people uh, in convincing you that you're in a reality that you're not actually in. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to unpack all of this. In some ways you have to go and watch the context video and, and it won't really make sense till you watch the concept context video. But this is the war being, um, foisted upon us by this group that is controlled by the evil principalities that hate humans. And I am calling them out for what they are. These are evil ones. Um, we stand against them. The remnant stands against them. The archangels stand against them. Yahushua stands against them. And they will be judged. So this is, again, found in December 2020. Uh, this is uh, an indictment of the person funding uh, these operations, who has now passed it on to his son, who's even worse, apparently. Um, we talked in the context video about this person, Borman, and how a submarine was involved in establishing uh, this corporate structure that is the fourth beast. So you have fourth in there. Um, and how the people who set up the fourth beast escaped on a submarine. Uh, and that there was a large amount of plunder and theft involved to set up this fourth beast uh, by this man Borman. And so now these people in this group here control that corporate system that they built using all that stolen money and loot. And of course, they have spun a story to hide the fact that it was all a bunch of theft and lies to begin with. And so now this is coming to its culmination. And there is war in the Shamayim, and it affects the tribe of Ephraim and the remnant. And let's move on to the next table. All right, let's look at one which is an even closer link, where um, we have what this entity really is, and the principalities that it serves called out by name. Um, and this is in the, uh, the books of Isaiah. Um, it spans really the second half of the book of Isaiah uh, from 31 through really the end of 58. Um, and then at small skips again is encoded um, things about the remnant, about the USA, the fact that there's a sign, this person, Borman, who started all this and what this beast really is. Um, and so let's look at this particular table as well. And in fact, when I published this table, I um, put out that uh, another code searcher, Barry Rothman, had put out similar tables. And you, these links are still live. If you want, you can go look for them. Um, so uh, uh, I, I am not the only code searcher who has published tables on this link between um, the people who run the world and this fourth beast. So if you want to go find those, again, those links are still live, um, but you have to type them in letter for letter in order to get your browser to go there. So don't try and Google them because you'll get redirected to some other place. 
um, you have to type them in character for character. All right, so now that I've revealed that, let's go look at the table for that um, for for that uh, set of terms that talks about again this group of globalists and who funds them and what they really are the fourth beast and the principalities they serve so Samael, spirit of evil but mainly these two here and when I get into the abominations that they've committed that's when we're really gonna see that they serve this bottom one here um, and for that they will be judged and I'm going to quote what Yahushua said when he talked to the disciples about those that commit the atrocities uh, in service to this mighty one um, and what will and, and that it would be better for them never to have been born is the way <laughs> it's at least quoted in the King James I'm going to show it to you in the ISR and we'll even look uh, anyway so <laughs> enough said he told us what happens um, but again just some really amazing structure in this table about uh, he encoded at small skip again Borman's name right uh, the guy who set this up and the guy who's inheriting it and the guy who funds it here uh, again 2020 to 21 was the year I found the table in December of 2020 and that this entire fourth beast serves this deity or principality and can I find the other name? Yeah, right here. <laughs> right here above Samael. And um, at least from the standpoint of the US, this one is a traitor. And that um, Borman was the instigator of this entity here. And in fact, Dunham is also pretty important to the person who inherits this entity. In fact, that was the name of his mother. And that there's a big deception around all this, right? So, uh, pretty interesting table. Oh yeah, another key actor in here. That, um, you see going through the whole table, this one right here. Uh, and that this is all based on corruption. And that there is a remnant, and that remnant will escape which is not um, lacking irony given the fact that this fourth beast was set up by Borman <laughs> and uh, you know the guy with the, the very well-known mustache escaping on this submarine so watch that context video if you want to know all of those details all right um, so hopefully this this piece of Bible code artwork makes an impact on you and this is what um, Yahuwah says to the remnant through his prophet Isaiah, Listen to me, O house of Jacob, Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel who are born from the belly and carried from the womb. Even in your old age I am he, and even to gray hairs I carry. I have made and I bear and I carry and rescue. To whom do you liken me and compare me and make me similar that we should be alike? They pour gold out of a bag and weigh silver on the scale. This is talking about the idol worship of the evil ones the fourth beast they hire a goldsmith and he makes it a mighty one they fall down they also bow themselves meaning they worship their idol money they bear it on the shoulder they carry it and set it in its place and it stands from its place it does not move meaning their idols are not living like our heavenly father though one cries out to it it does not answer nor save him from his distress remember this and show yourselves men turn it back you transgressors Remember the former events of old, for I am El, and there is no one else, Elohim, and there is no one like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from of old, that which has not yet been done, saying, My counsel does stand, and all my delight I do. 
calling a bird of prey from the east, the man who executes my counsel from a distant land. Indeed, I have spoken it. I also bring it to pass. I have planned it. I also do it. Listen to me, you stubborn-hearted who are far from righteousness. I shall bring my righteousness near. It is not far off, and my deliverance is not delayed, and I shall give deliverance in Sion, my esteem to Israel, meaning the house of Israel, which I've described in previous videos, what the house of Israel actually is. So this is his promise to us, the remnant, that we will be saved out of this fourth beast. And it is where this table is encoded. Right, so his promise to us is in the plain text where this table about this fourth beast is encoded. That is what he is saving us from, and why Yahusha came to the earth to establish his authority to come back as the lion to save us from this. All praise to uh, Abba Yehoiwa and Yahusha Hamashiach. All right, here's another table. This one with the axis term of the fourth beast there. Um, and in fact, the key actress here encoded in Genesis. How did he know it from the beginning? Because our Heavenly Father is outside time and he planned all of this in order to perfect his creation. So even though these ones stand against them, they don't stand a chance. And they kind of know it, which is why they're trying to deceive us all and try and change the course of time. But no matter what they do, they always end up in the lake of fire. So they know what's coming. All right, I haven't gone and annotated all of this stuff. You can see that um, the same terms are all there. Um, main thing is, you know, one of the latest lies that they launched, which was actually a a jab that, you know, caused a lot of death and heartache um, is part of their plan. And so that's part of the war and it's part of who they serve. So a couple interesting things that I've uh, annotated just so you can see them clearly. Um, you know, the relationship of that fourth beast to the USA crossing right in the center and sharing a letter. <laughs> uh, it's pretty interesting. And of course, the guy running it behind the scenes encoded vertically starting in that same line um, pretty strong relationships okay and when we talk about that name dunham this is why now i'm not going to explain it to you if you search this on google you'll find what they would call conspiracy theorists who will explain to you why Ann Dunham, uh, his mother, was related to the guy with the mustache. So that's sort of a circus sideshow clown act in this whole big uh, story, but uh, it's a pretty interesting sideshow. So I'm just putting up the fact that the code tables and this Bible code artwork document the fact that there's a relationship between the man with the mustache's grandson and that in fact he is one and the same with the person who's inheriting this beast system and running it from the USA. All right, so I've decided that this video is long enough already and I will lay out in the abominations video all the evidence of um, what these evil ones have been doing. Um, as part of the fourth beast or being the fourth beast and so with that i will say shalom brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video